Okay, May 6th, grow log. We've got the two chili peppers in the back. We've got tree trunk. We've got little bro. And let's take a look. So, over the past two weeks or so, let's turn the light down before we get any further. So, the light's now on zero. Uh, over the past two weeks, maybe, we were getting a lot of yellowing. You can see it. In these leaves right now and let's just take a look at those leaves you've got this i just plucked off today this feels like a couple days old and you know these there's some runoff there because i just watered it we'll get into that but good solid amount of yellowing on the leaves and if we look at this plant we can see that there are some still there so this Almost, you don't even need to yoink it off. It just, that one kind of has to yoink. This one's still still good. So a good amount of yellowing. And I thought the yellowing might be from nitrogen deficiency. Gave it some nitrogen, yellowing kind of stopped. Then I gave it some water. And then the yellowing kind of returned. So this week I gave it, I gave both of them the same thing which was a milliliter of BioThrive, milliliter of Tiger Bloom, milliliter of CalMag into a gallon of water, pH to 6.5. And so BioThrive is 433, Tiger Bloom is 284. That means it's 6117 that we just put in here. If that, if, if it even works like that, honestly, I don't even know if it works like that. Uh, but anyways, so it's going pretty good got some peppers ripening nice stinger on that one uh, that's one that we've been kind of looking at here and there got some big peppers here they need to get ripe we've got another ripe one back there if you could see past these other monsters right here but uh, anyway we've been mess messing with this plant a lot and we're continuing to mess with it because that's what that's what we're doing so Again, look back at the videos to see what you're giving it and when. Uh, did lose a, yellow, a lot of yellow leaves, did give it some good amount of nitrogen this week. We'll see what it looks like in five days. Take another look. Definitely look at these lower leaves. Definitely look at these lower leaves in seven days or so. And then we'll look at the canopy. And if the video is boring, um, I just have to get better images, better stills. So I'm just gonna do this. I go back and compare these videos. Uh, I feel like they're pretty good for, for my learning. Uh, this plant kind of doing the same thing. Yellowing just pops off. Just pops, doesn't just pop off. Doesn't just pop off doesn't so uh this one again you can see this bubbling stuff i think that's from cal mag i gave it a lot of cal mag like two weeks ago and i feel like that bubbling hit it pretty hard so that could be too much uh let's take a look at these lowers yeah it's getting kind of shriveled up again so definitely um less cal mag than i think the plant needs so you know, these things have been juiced up and down, left and right. This thing still doesn't have any chili peppers. I'm losing a lot of flowers. This thing has like no flowers. So it's it's definitely the fruiting stage that is giving me the most challenge. Uh, there are two peppers I can see on this plant, but definitely fruiting stage is giving me the most challenges. And then we won't go too much into all these, but these are starters. They're just shy of two months old. They're booming. There's a video uh, comparing the size and the age of them. They're all pretty crazy. Uh, these ones are coming up too. These are usually about a month old. Let's take a look at these. This is um, a peach tiger. This is the first uh, of these like Kind of dark leaf chili peppers pretty nice looking pretty cool uh growth is decent it's a little tall a little leggy 
for my liking. Definitely not like uh, as, as robust as a Carolina Reaper. Uh, these, this right here is a white tongue. You'll just have to trust that I know what I'm talking about. White tongue. And I've noticed that all the white tongues are a little bit bigger and faster growing than, than this uh, peach tiger. And they tend to have more leaf curl. This like kind of around the edges, you know? They all seem to have that. Uh, that one doesn't have it as bad, but this one kind of has it too. So all the white tongues have that. So that's kind of an interesting um, phenotype. Is it phenotype is the appearance? Um, yeah, ignore some of those pepper plants in that last shot. Um, yeah, anyway. <laughs> Uh, okay, so the last thing we can talk about in this video is this guy here, and oy, oy, it's heavy. Ah, this guy right here. So this is the new generation. This is the second cocoa experiment. Again, Lil Bro tree trunk are from the first experiment, which was basically overjuicing them, and then this one is going to be a little bit more conservative. So we transplanted it this week and I gave it all water, 6.5 pH until it ran off. So I soaked all the cocoa choir. This cocoa does come pre-buffered, but I did add CalMag as well. This, so one milliliter, actually it was half a milliliter BioThrive, half a milliliter CalMag, or was it one milliliter? I really should have wrote that down. I believe it was one milliliter of BioThrive, one milliliter of CalMag, pH to 6.5 in a gallon of water, and watered until runoff. And it kind of surprised me how much water these things absorbed, but here we go. You know, not much to say yet on these ones. We'll see where they grow. And then the last thing is I've got them smack dab in the middle so they can get the most light. So excited to see where these go. It is May, May 6th, and these plants are about two months old. So say they were popped around March 6th. I wish I had wrote that down kind of a goof but we're gonna say it we're gonna call it March 6th so these will go for March 6th March April June July August September these will go till September 6th which is right around my birthday very cool